Love is kind, doesn't know evil. Love is strong, gives confidence. Hope in hardest moments. Love protects, unifies, removes every fear. It's beautiful, does not contend. Cherish one another, never failing love. God ordain love. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Maurice Gashero, um, pastor at Jubilee Christian Church, Thika Road, and I'm here to bring to you today's marital bliss. Marital bliss, the word bliss talks about happiness, fulfillment, satisfaction. It is possible for you to enjoy your marriage. It is possible for you to, uh, to have bliss in your marriage. And that is what we are here to discuss. We also discuss relationships for those that are engaged, those who are dating, those who are preparing to get married or intend to get married. This program and these discussions are also very beneficial to, to you. Today, of course, I'm, in, I'm joined by my wife, Pastor Pauline Gashero, whom we've been mm -hmm. married together for close to 30 years. This coming September, it will be 30 years. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I'm joined by Pastor Solomon Were, Pastor Jubilee Christian Church, Embakasi. Yes. And today, we will be discussing a very, very interesting topic on marital bliss. We will be discussing frenemies of marriage. That is, frenemies, friends, <laughs> or enemies or and enemies of marriage and uh, we will be discussing uh, the gist of it really is uh, external influence the forces that influence your marriage and today we are focusing on the influence of um, friends or what you would call veiled enemies these are friends, enemies who pretend to be friends, or friends who pretend to be friends, but they are actually acting like enemies. They are called frenemies of your relationship, and they are one of the most influential forces. I mean, you cannot underestimate the influence of your closest friends in your relationships. In fact, some men have complained that when they are dating a girl, it's like they are dating the girl plus the entire WhatsApp group, plus all the friends because she is influenced, or even the guy is influenced. Can you imagine you being a lady, married or even dating, but you have a sense, you feel like when you're dating your husband, uh, your, 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 your fiance, or you, you're relating with your husband, is like you're relating with all his friends. Because whatever decision you make, uh, because you know the opinions, the influences, and his notion in marriage and relationship is so much affected by his clique of friends. And that's what we'll be discussing about. The Bible says, there are friends who pretend to be friends, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. He said that there are friends who pretend. How do you know that a friend is a friend? How do you know that that person who is speaking to you as a friend is actually an enemy of your relationship or an enemy of your marriage? I want to give each one minute to just say hello and then we dive into this discussion, Pastor Pauline. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon from wherever you're watching us from and it's going to be amazing. 
Pastor Solomon. Yeah, thank you so much, Pastor Morris and Pastor Pauline, for having me here. Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon. Just like Pastor Pauline has just said, I'm, I'm privileged to be here amongst uh, the veterans in marriage. We've been married almost half uh, the years they've been married, so I, I have a lot to learn mm. firsthand. Thank you so much. And please remember to like, comment, share on YouTube. Please subscribe and press that notification button. And, uh, you know, tell somebody the uh, pastor is discussing something very interesting. Uh, for enemies of marriage, friends or enemies of marriage, you need to tell them, you need to hear this, and it's going to be a blessing. Now, last time on Marital Bliss, my mm -hmm. wife and I discussed long-standing relationships. How does a relationship stand for long? How is it that it survives for a long time and you continue enjoying your marriage? And one of the points that we looked at is, of course, being able to deal and circumvent uh, 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 the external influences. And by external influences, we talked about in-laws, we talked about friends, mm. we talked about uh, uh, those things or culture we yes. talked about uh, uh, the environment and today yes. we're just gonna pluck that one aspect of it called friends because in our day we have all kinds of friends they are friends that people have never met yes. and they still call them friends because they are <laughs> friends on Facebook they, they are friends on social media yes. all of those they call friends so they have lumped some people Nowadays, people will meet somebody yes. at the bus stop and they exchange numbers and in two days they call them friends. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing is that these so-called friends are affecting Christian work. They are affecting how a person lives. They are affecting their people who have been lured into drugs, lured into, into uh, 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 all kinds of immorality and, and, and uh, practices lured into drunkardness yes. because of what they called a friend. Yes. They said this is a friend. Mm -hmm. Pastor Solomon, Powerful. if you are in married mm -hmm. and you want to tell whether this is truly a friend of your relationship, and remember, mm -hmm. a friend of your relationship is number one. Let's, let's, let's discuss. Before we go into detecting who this friend is or whether they are a friend or an enemy, what are the characteristics of people, yes. for example, yourself and Carol, yes. who would qualify to be friends of your marriage mm -hmm. in terms that you'll bring them into that space oh, yes. of your marriage mm -hmm. where they can now speak mm -hmm. or influence yes. uh, 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 your marriage? Yes. What are the, some of the characteristics, just one or two, and then we, I ask Pastor Pauline the same. Very well, Pastor. I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored. And uh, your, your relationship with, with Pastor Pauline uh, is quite admirable. It's quite admirable because, number one, you're public figures. Mm. And, and uh, you have decided to make uh, your love for each other also a public issue. Mm. That's uh, that whenever you, you are preaching, you share uh, mm. your fondness for your wife your love for your wife, admiration, and you praise her publicly. Mm. Uh, I just want to say that uh, people are watching and looking from afar. Mm. And they are, uh, there, there's something they're learning. Mm. Uh, you, we, we, have, we have mentors that are really, are really by example. It mm. is uh, because uh, it is not, uh, uh, we've kn we know you even privately, mm -hmm. and that, uh, you know, the same value that you esteem each other with in public is the same value that we see you people uh, 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 value each other with even in private life, Thank and you. that is very commendable. You've asked me a question. What, how do we, how do we tell? Uh, uh, the qualities, the of, qualities a friend of, your marriage. of a friend of marriage. Allow me to say firstly that there's something that you said in, uh, I was listening to some tape. There's something that you said that is very key. For marriages, mm. uh, you said something that I want to repeat here. You said that attitudes are infectious. Yes. Culture is infectious. Yes. Practices are infectious. Yes. Because you walk with the people with a particular kind of attitude towards their wives, mm. 
it will sooner or later mm. affect you. Yes. Uh, attitudes, the way people take things, the way people value marriage is infectious. Mm -hmm. they, they talk about it, uh, the way, you know, you, you, you hear how someone has received a call from his wife uh, and the way they are answering them back. You know, with time, it's infectious. Mm -hmm. The best way to know who to, who, who, who has the characteristics uh, that can influence you positively in marriage is one. The mm -hmm. Bible says, uh, follow them, mm. who through faith and patience mm. have received the promises. Mm. Follow them, uh, looking at the end of their conduct. Mm. So it is very important that uh, someone, someone cannot influence you positively in marriage mm. or in your walk with your wife, with communication with your wife, respect for your wife, if, if by, you can't see it in them. Yes. They are not examples of the same. Yes. Their lives does not show the products of what you're looking for. Yes. So it's an off. Yeah, it's an off. That's powerful. I think it's, it's one of the biggest. Somebody said, uh, uh, you know, there are books all over the place about uh, 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 all kinds of subjects. And uh, you, you can read about construction from a person who has never constructed. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can read about parenting Gen Zs from somebody who is not even married and doesn't have kids, so they don't know about parenting except through copy and paste. Yeah. You can read through, there's so many, and including marriage, there are people who out there are trying, purporting to give advice to marriage, yes. and their own relationships are not working. Yes. So friends, those who are watching us, viewers, the number one quality you look for, whether you are trying to look for a best man, or bride of honor, or somebody who can influence your marriage through advice and counseling, is, is their own marriage working? Because you don't want somebody who will justify for you your mistakes, because they themselves have the same mistakes. You know, they say birds, birds of a feather flock together. Oh, yes. You can find people with the same proclivities and tendencies herding together. Yes. Because they feel comfort and there's that uh, 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 aspect of acceptance. Those are the wrong people to force you or to, to, to urge you to correct something they themselves cannot correct or have not been able to, to correct. Yes. And therefore, you check... Who is it that has a marriage that you can mimic, you can imitate, or you admire, or you aspire to? And that's very, very important, modeling mm -hmm. in marriage. Pastor Pauline Gashero. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is amazing. This, is. I don't think you can, in one session, just uh, be done with this uh, thing, because this is very, 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 very important when it comes to marriage. I would say now, when you're talking about having friends in as far as marriage is, connect, is concerned, I find that there are people who had friends before they got married. Yes. And those friends were not married either. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to marriage, first somebody has to define who is a friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, who is a friend? A friend, is it somebody that I just hung out with? Mm. Or is a friend somebody that I can open up my life with, yes. um, uh, my life to, without embarrassment, mm. knowing that that person is going to give me information, mm. is going to give me counsel, yes. that is going to influence this marriage positively. But now, when people get married, I'm not saying that they should disconnect. Yes. But I'm not saying that the people that they had as friends could, should not continue being friends, but they should know that things have changed, okay? The same way someone was, in, was advising you as a single person, now the same person may not be able to advise you as a married person. And you find that in marriages, there is a lot of issues happening because if you go to somebody, because they were a friend since your, your childhood, yes. yeah, and now you have issues with your wife. Mm. Now you go to your childhood friend because this person has been in your life since you were in, in primary school. Yes. They will not give you anything besides what they know. So first, one has to define who is a friend. 
is a friend somebody that you know or is a friend is a friend somebody that you can open your life now in this new phase mm. of marriage mm. and do they have what it takes mm. okay do they have what it takes to make your marriage better yes. or are they just friends mm. people that you hang out with mm. because many marriages honey they have failed right now because people have gone to people who have been their friends yes. they have uh, they have instructed them they have helped them in choosing college you understand yes, yes. In, in choosing the kind the church to attend mm, you know hairstyle choosing the course. hairstyle choosing all these other things so but when it comes to marriage someone has to differentiate yes. that this is my friend mm -hmm. he can uh, he or she can advise me in terms in in matters business can advise me in matters investment but this person cannot advise me in matters marriage so if you go to the same person you're not able to define what area of your life that this person is qualified to advise yes. then you're going to get wrong advice mm. from the person who gave you a good business idea yes. but give you a terrible one yes. when it comes to marriage right. so you have to be able to define friends this is a good friend but they can only do this this is a good friend but they can only influence me in this way mm. so you cannot say that because this person is my friend i have opened them i'm open i've opened myself up to them to advise me in every aspect of my life yes. just people, because your friend yeah. has been in a relationship a boyfriend girlfriend relationship for five years three years mm. or because that friend of yours has had three boyfriends three exes mm. or three boy uh, in a girlfriends mm. does not make her an expert in marriage yes because this is the problem when a girl or a boy a young man has been in two three relationships and we personally i do not in any way uh, 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 encourage people to be from one relationship to another make up your mind and and move on and be stay with that yes. with that with that girl I, 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 are we together so they think that by virtue of having had one or two men or three three or four girls now they are experts in girls Mm -hmm. or boys and 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 they know men <laughs> or they know women, women. Mm. it's a to being a boyfriend girlfriend is a totally ball a different ball game yes. from being husband and wife now this one husband and wife you're living together you is the last face you see before you doze off is the first one you behold when you wake up yes it's totally different yes. so don't and that's why i agree with you ani that a person just because you went to high school together and you think they have been in two three relationships or you think they you know have been here and there that they, they can be expert in marriage mm -mm -mm -mm. no in fact they say that the more people have different partners the more partners they have mm. the worse marital experts they are <laughs> yeah they also uh, 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 yeah they they was they was they are that, yeah. that is where you find that yeah. in other cultures western cultures yes. the more uh, 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 so called marriages uh, divorce and marriage they have mm. the, the 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 less the next marriage is, is supposed to work is able to work mm -hmm. are you getting yes. in fact the more you are able to live with one woman mm. and one man mm. husband and wife the more you can tell people about marriage the more you can tell people about marriage in terms of because you, you can talk about perseverance mm. patience yes. you know sticking it out not jumping out sticking it out you get and that's very very important you talked about who is a friend we talk about i think definition of a friend of ma marriage or frenemy of marriage is those people that number one desire the best for you in your relationship yes okay yes desire the best for you they 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 wish you to enjoy the best as far as your relationship your marriage is concerned yes that is a friend number two, a friend is one who sticks with you uh, as scripture said in proverbs 18:24 uh, 
a friend who sticks closer than a brother that there is a friend that can qualify to be a brother and because they stick close to you this is a person that uh, their perspective of your life is not based on what they can get on an invent or on the good times you have had but they also have stuck with you even in tough times that's that's a friend number 3 a friend as far as your relationship and marriage is concerned is those people that qualify by virtue of a uh, a uh, uh, a closeness you know you don't ask strangers is not strangers because they don't have details hmm? you need to a person who will look at you and say uh, you know we've been friends for 10 years 15 years 20 years now and i know you are given to appetite you're given to anger this is you just getting angry there is this is a storm in a teacup there's nothing to it if you give it time it will blow over but if you meet a stranger in the mall and you ask them about your relationship they don't even know you they don't know your weaknesses you get you know many times when people ask any relationship advice they think the person is going to advise Uh, t- 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 speak of how the other person needs to fix themselves but a friend is a person who will look at you and tell you you are the problem mm-hmm. that's a friend you are the one who is going to who is going to fix yourself because they are not afraid to tell you the truth yes the bible says that uh, uh, the rebuke of a friend is better than the kiss of an enemy yes beautiful mm. the rebuke of a friend is better than the kiss of an enemy mm. yeah so uh, that's who a friend is mm-hmm. they they will tell you the truth because remember their intention is that your marriage may work all right your marriage may... there are people who can give you all kinds of advice but they don't give uh, they, they 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 don't care if your marriage works or not they say ah if that one goes just get another one mm-hmm. scripture says in proverbs 27:6 wounds from a friend are better than kisses from an enemy mm. so you see there are people who kiss 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 you but they are actually the kiss of an enemy but there are friends that can wound you by telling you you need to fix it you need to get your act together you know and this 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 issue is your fault mm. you you are the one who's getting upset over small you are very irritable you are impatient you are blah 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 and your friend can tell you that yes you see so those are some of the th- ones we call friends mm-hmm. they care about you mm. they want you to enjoy mm-hmm. your marriage and because of that mm. they are willing to tell you even the truth even if it does not placate you yeah. even if it's not kissy kissy mm. even if it does not make you feel the way you want to be f- to feel mm. it doesn't uh, it doesn't sm- smooth you with all those niceties but it tells you you know what you can do better and those i think are better than people who give you kisses the kisses of an enemy so there is a difference here and the this scripture tells us about a friend and an enemy you know that a friend will look at you and with love wound you all right but a, an enemy will kiss you even if you're sinking down the the hole you're going down the drain you're going down hill fast mm. but they are they are just kissing you oh, you're doing well you're doing fine you're about to get into uh, uh, this ditch and they're saying keep going keep going <laughs> keep going you know those days uh, 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 i used to see my dad and other uncles they would joke when when one one of them is reversing a car mm. yeah they would reverse the vehicle and one of them would joke and say kuja tu mpaka usikie ku is he had to keep coming until until you hear a noise <laughs> if that will happen it happens in marriage mm. then it won't be there by the time that, ku akuna nobody's there there's yeah. no marriage it's a proper ku is a is a, is a, is a proper sad <laughs> is a proper noise are you getting so yeah. we're taking a break for a minute and we are back as we venture into this as my wife said is not something we pretend we can hack and and exhaust in one program but we will give you what we can by the grace of god see you in a minute remember to like share
comment, subscribe, and God's going to bless you. Thank you so much. See you in a minute. Powerful love, eternal love, marital bliss. Hi, praise the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome back. This is marital bliss. We are discussing the frenemies of marriage, friends or enemies. You need to know how to distinguish both. You need to know how to distinguish. And in this second session, you know, after this break, we are looking at how do you know? How do you, how know? Do you know this is a friend? How oh, yes. do you know uh, 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 this, this is uh, uh, is, is, is an enemy? Yes. You know, because they are disguised. Some yes. of them who come as, 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 as friends are actually, you know, enemies in disguise, mm -hmm. as we have been told in Proverbs that yes. they are friends who pretend mm. to be friends. Mm. How do you know? Yeah, you know, how do you know? Number one is, I think, uh, 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 when uh, uh, these people are advising you just to pluck it, just to make you feel good. They're just giving you a feeling mm. of, you know, it's okay. A false feeling of peace a false feeling of it's okay, it's going to be fine. They are not telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. Are you getting? Mm -hmm. are those I don't think are friends of your marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, they are not. They are not friends of your marriage because uh, uh, I, I believe in marriage, someone has to look at the big picture, mm -hmm. you know, of, of marriage. Not only my marriage, but the marriage of somebody that I consider a friend mm -hmm. because this person is a friend yes. I desire the well-being of their marriage mm -hmm. so if I am really a friend mm -hmm. and I'm not just looking at today where this person is just gonna pat my back mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but I'm looking five years from today I am looking at the children that have been born in this union you know what will be the what's the well-being of these children yes. like pastor is saying honey I'm just saying this to confirm what you you've just told us is that you sometimes you just have to tell someone this is wrong you know, you shouldn't do this because this is not just going to affect you today, but it's going to affect you many days oh, from yes. now. But somebody who is not a friend, yes. they will want to, to get the benefit. Mm -hmm. And by the way, honey, those people who, who pretend to be friends, but they are not friends, they are in that marriage to get something. In that relationship oh, with yeah. that person, mm -hmm. you know, they want they that to get something mm -hmm. because remember they are not a friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are not a real friend. Mm -hmm. Meaning there is something that they want to get from the person mm -hmm. they are relating with. There's an interest. There is an interest. Okay, and such kind of a person, mm -hmm. quote and quote, calling themselves friends. Sometimes mm -hmm. they don't even want the wife or the husband to mm -hmm. know them mm -hmm. because. There are people that when you bring them mm. into your husband's space, mm. you bring them into your wife's space, mm. your wife will discern that there's something wrong with this person. Mm. Because this person is not for the welfare of us. He's for the welfare of you or mm. my welfare. You understand? Because mm. that is what he wants to get out of this relationship between him or her and one person in the marriage yes but when now you bring them now closer the wife will know mm -mm, there is something wrong about that person you are calling friend mm -hmm. yeah. yeah because the things he talks mm -hmm. is that uh, there are things that really are not adding value to our marriage oh, yes. and you may find any that when that person comes maybe into the house they don't talk when the wife is there and maybe the <laughs> husband is a friend but they will always talk to the husband in the absence of the wife. Mm. Meaning, he's, he's not really... It's one-sided. It is mostly one-sided. Because mm. if it is two-sided mm. and he's, he's really uh, in a situation, honey, assuming this person is really working from a place of ignorance. They mm. don't know how a marriage is supposed to be done. Mm, yes. But if now they get into the space of the two, the two will correct him and tell him, no, that's not how marriage mm. is supposed to work. Mm. But someone who is there not caring for the interest of the marriage, they focus only on one party, oh, yeah, not sure. both. Sure. So a friend of your marriage is also going to be somebody who is trying to separate. Yes. Who takes advantage of division. You know, there are people when 
two people are not in agreement then they take advantage because they can go out mm. they can spend mm. late hours they can have nyama uh, choma with so and so as yes. long as but when they start to feel this guy is going home early is spending time with the family a lot of time with the wife they start to feel disadvantaged yes so that's that's not an a, a friend it's mm. an enemy mm. because they 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 pretend to be friends for uh, 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 selfish mm. reasons yes. Yes. Uh, you get so mm. they wouldn't hesitate to see a division or a fault a crack mm. so that they can spend the best time mm. with with the husband of this of this lady oh yes all right oh, so yes. those are some of the enemies mm. of marriage mm. an enemy of marriage is one who will tell others about your struggle so instead of talking to you about it they spread the rumor they tell others about it i think the best person is the one who can talk to you about it mm. and not tell others about it because the others what can they do they can also just talk are you getting so those people who can keep confidence those people who can uh, uh, keep a secret mm. those people who can protect you and 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 keep you safe that even after you have talked to them about sensitive things because marital things can be sensitive very very sensitive yes mm. you get yes. when those details come out they can be very heartbreaking so this person that is able to keep a secret all right is a true friend yes is a is a very very true friend yes. another thing about a friend a true friend is that a true friend hurts when you hurt rejoices oh, yeah. when you rejoice that's true that's how so many true. friends do you know mm. that we will 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 hurt with you you know even jesus said that we should mourn with those who mourn mm. that it's better to go in the house of mourning rather than to go into the house of celebration mm. you get because that's expression of true friendship mm -hmm. true. people who are truly concerned about your outcome are true friends yeah okay mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. Th those are good good friends mm -hmm. a true friend will sacrifice yes. for your success yes. for the success of your marriage mm -hmm. and then, you know yeah. a true friend will tell you you know what i'll keep the babies over the weekend at my house so that you and your wife can go out just by yourself mm -hmm. go out there somewhere into the bundus into mm -hmm. the take take a second honeymoon mm -hmm. for a couple of days and yes. fix this issue yes. talk 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 by the time you are coming back yes. you come back with a solution or you go to a prayer mountain or mm. a prayer center together we'll take care of the children yes. mm. the, a true friend will sacrifice for so your true. sake mm -hmm. you, you get mm -hmm. they, they will they will bend over for you because they really want you to enjoy your marriage mm. all right they will encourage you to fight for it mm. they will encourage you to 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 forgive each other you know to mend up and mm. to work things out mm. but the enemies are neither here nor there yeah. they, they they don't they don't they don't care they don't seem to care mm. as long as you remain their friend yeah mm. you can have coffee together as long as they can benefit getting, they can benefit and mm. uh, you know but a true friend feels it they true. wound they 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 they, they heart with you yeah They, yes that's yeah, very they, yeah that's uh, that's oh, powerful that's pastor yeah. and 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 also you said the qualities of a, of a true friend and at times people are people because people might begin be, 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 begin um, a, a relationship in that we are family friends and then people change yeah. and uh, their value system changes and so they are no longer adding the value to your marriage that they used to value yes it's it's high time to take a decision immediately mm. and, and 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 lay them and 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 just you know change it mm. because if people were if you had a friend and then interest there, there, there's something you were some you were you were preaching you were teaching something uh, in the leadership in the leadership in the morning mm. of a sunday mm. and you were saying uh you've got to be rec to be able to recognize 
that if this relationship began like this mm. and it is changing, mm. you've got to recognize that it is changing. Yes. And now the interests are changing mm. and the appetites are changing. And mm. now this friendship is starting to draw other mm. things and other feelings other than which, that which began. Mm. So you got to identify it and, and lay it aside. Mm. You know, this guy was our family friend or this, this lady was our family friend, but then things are changing. They are not what it used to be. Mm. You've got to act fast. Mm. That might save your marriage. Yes. Lay it aside and mm. also commit yourself to following a people mm. who are examples to you. Yeah. Following and let them know you're following them. Yes. And, 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 and uh, let them know you're following them. And they should know that uh, you, you're, 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 you're taking it from them. Mm. The problem with the modern times is that families are very independent. Mm. Before people realize things have gone off. Mm. Uh, uh, Paul says that... Uh, follow me as I follow the Lord. Mm. So in other words, he's saying, I am also following someone, mm. so you follow me. And he's telling Timothy that you have followed me, the manner of my doctrine. Mm. The research shows, Pastor, mm. that marriages that last, mm. most of them, they have a faith-based Value Model. system. Value system. Yes, they, 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 they agree on some faith mm. and doctrine together, even, if, even in the secular world. <laughs> and so Christians who agree on a particular faith uh, seem to go further than the rest. We agree that we are forgiven. For example, the way you teach. We agree that we are blessed with all blessings in heavenly places in Christ mm. Jesus. So mm. we, want, we want to disagree in do we take this one to that seer or do we not? You know, we agree that we are blessed with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places. When we agree on spiritual matters, Paul is saying, you have followed my doctrine. You have known my manner of life. You have known my purpose and my faith. So it is good that couples agree on their doctrine and manner of faith and follow such people who have such kind of faith and are making it in marriage. There's something I like about what you've said, the value system. Mm. Values are very, very important. For example, if you are with a friend who claims to be a friend, and as you are talking to that friend, the wife calls, and you know you're in a restaurant eating or somewhere, and then the wife asks him, babe, where are you? <laughs> and the guy tells the wife, I'm in church. <laughs> I'm all, or I'm on my way. <laughs> or I'm on my way. I'm just right. about there. And the guy has not even got, has not even finished the tea. He said, you know, I'm just around the corner. He's lying in your presence, okay, <laughs> to his wife, okay? When that person comes to, your, to, to give you counsel, he will tell you, why don't you just tell her? This and that. Yeah. So he just mm. encourage you to lie. Yeah. He will encourage yeah. you to lie. Me, yes. By the way, if, if somebody does that in my presence, yeah, my regard for their advice, whether financial, whether marital, or in professional, yeah, goes very low. Because I have realized that this guy is a liar. Yes. He can lie to save himself. <laughs> he can lie to get out of a tight spot. Oh, yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. And he can also lie to you. Mm. He oh, can yeah. lie to you. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, value system. What is the value system of that couple mm. that you look up to? What is the value system of that friend? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does he value marriage? Mm. One of the things that I think Pastor Solomon is very important, and in, in this generation mm. particularly, you know, is what is somebody's, you spoke about attitude. What is a man's attitude towards women? How does he think about women? Mm. You know, because if somebody's attitude is negative about women, if you go to them and tell them, my wife is upset and I need to go fix it, I need to talk to her, 
they will say, ah, just leave her. Mm. Just leave her. Mm. You know that attitude is just, just leave her. She's mm. just gonna swell, you know, mm. at, at a, what do you call it in Swahili? At a fura, we can be, I'm a skumbili, and then yeah. at a vimbuka. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, she will deflate. Are you getting? Yes, and attitudes are That's contagious. That's a wrong attitude. Um, attitudes are contagious. Because they're very contagious. Mm-hmm. So, you know, personally, I'm married to my wife, who's a woman, and I have three girls. And I can't raise the three girls effectively if my, my attitude about women is negative. Sure. For me to give them the best, to mm. believe that they can go to the highest spot yes. and they can do best in their life. My mind about girls and women can, has to be very, 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 very positive. You're right. And, and this is how you know somebody, mm. attitude towards women is healthy. Mm. This person does not use women. You get? You know, there are people who are friends who use women. They use women like things. And then you go to advice for advice from a person who is using women. Mm. And then this person is supposed to give you advice about how to respect your own woman and mm-hmm. value your... The guy doesn't even have a value system. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm. It's like going to a person who beats on his wife, batters his wife mm. properly mm. to tell him to advise you how you can maintain peace, create understanding. Yeah. The guy rules by blows <laughs> in the house. So you are you are you are you are not supposed to. You cannot get a means to amicable marriage mm. from such a one. Yeah. Ata kwambi ya kikulete ya fujo. If 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 your wife uh, gets into your nerves, mm. you know. Do this. Yeah, lay hands on her. Also. <laughs> Not for blessing. <laughs> Not for blessing. Are you getting? Because that's how they fix their issues. Yeah. A person's attitude tells you how they fix their issues. So bad. If he fixes his issues with a fivefold <laughs> ministry or with laying on of hands. <laughs> all right? Yes. That's wrong. You should not follow that person. Mm, yeah, because you get. Cause, so if you want to have a peaceable marriage, mm, get advice from a person who is peaceable, mm, who champions peace. Yes. Okay. Yeah. A person who stands for the same value mm-hmm. that you you aspire to, that you deserve to, desire to have in your marriage. Because mm, good. But good, uh, good morals are destroyed by bad company. Yes. And a companion of fools will be destroyed. Sure. So he will not just destroy his marriage, but he will also uh, uh, affect you to start destroying yours. Yes. Yes, it's true. One yes. the, these comments people make about women, comments people make about each other's wives, age, age, you know, those comments are very interesting. Oh, yes. Yeah, those little, little comments. In fact, me, I can tell. This is not, this not a friend. This is a friend of me. Yeah, that's a friend. But just by, by those comments, this person is, mm. you know? Yeah. 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 It's amazing. Hey, like your wife, Anakuchu. Your wife is just asking. She does, the guy does not know how you spoke with your wife in the morning. Mm. While you are telling her, bye-bye, see you later, they don't know the details. But when your wife calls you on phone and say, babe, mumefika wapi? And you say, hi, babe, how are you? Yeah, I'll, I, I'll be coming in the next one hour. I'll be home in the next hour. Is, there, is everything okay? Say, yes, everything is okay. I'm just asking, just looking up after you seeing how you're doing. And then you disconnect. And the guy is like, Eish, your wife is really policing you, man. Your wife is policing you. Your wife is is what? Which other word? Can, is micromanaging. Mm. Sitting on you. Is your wife is sitting on? <laughs> <laughs> is sitting on you, or your your wife is blah blah blah. When you hear such a comment, right. and it's a person who does not know how you are talked with your wife, mm. or maybe you are told your wife, if it gets to midday, please remind me. Mm. We are supposed to do this, mm. or we are supposed to go there, mm. or I'm supposed to 
pick our uh, daughter from school mm. or blah blah so the guy doesn't know what you talked with your wife <laughs> but now because he has seen your wife calling and asking hey how are you mm. have you done this and this he said hey man your wife is really uh, 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 becoming a superintendent <laughs> <laughs> is a superintendent of your life <laughs> you know yeah. is really you know are you getting yeah. Yeah, that's so that's those kinds of comments man yeah. Show because that, they don't know yeah it shows mm. that your value systems are different yeah and mm-hmm. and and you can't follow that one yeah and and as pastor polin said pastor uh, she said that many people uh, take business models to be their marriage models Mm. they take you know, someone is doing well in business so you think uh, you you take him to be now the guy who will show you about marriage whereas he might be making money in business or in the in the in the in the marketplace but his marriage is in shambles uh, so it's important to 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 know okay this relationship with so and so is up to this point it doesn't go beyond to my family this one this is uh, as far as career is concerned this is as far as making money is concerned this is as far as this is concerned but when it comes to marriage i am accountable to so and so whom i as have identified as my models in marriage you see the difference pastor solomon and the danger of trying to bring the business model into marriage is because number one business are contract based yes <laughs> businesses are contract based and anything that is contract based is about services rendered commodities delivered <laughs> and fair payment are you getting yes. so we are talking about uh, uh, you deliver this quality of stuff yes so and so pieces and then you pick up your check is transactional is you do this and this is done mm. but when you get into marriage mm. marriage is covenant yes. marriage is not commodity mm-hmm. or service based mm. that you will be cooking for me three hot meals a day and if i like the taste of the food then i will be faithful to you <laughs> or you will be warming my water before i shower the water should be 37.5 degrees the soap should be in place if i get into the bathroom and the soap is not in place mm. then i'll get upset i will sulk the hell the, the rest of the day mm. are you hearing yes. that's not how marriage is no marriage is covenant why because marriage is based on the person yes all right yeah. Mas- marriage is based on the person not on the commodity mm-hmm. all right not on the service rendered mm. Are you getting? Yeah, you see, but you can learn something that can benefit in marriage. Yes. From business. Yes. For example, yes. the art of negotiation. You can learn to negotiate. Mm-hmm. All right? To make compromises. All right? Yeah. You see, of course in business you negotiate for discounts, but in marriage, you know you're you're negotiating, all right? Yes. Say okay. Uh, uh in terms of where there is a conflict yes, yes. you know <laughs> one of the uh, ways in which you resolve conflict is negotiation in yeah. terms of yes a give and take yes compromise you know yeah yeah, yeah compromise and that's yeah. very very important now i hope you've been blessed by today's program you know we've come to the end of uh, this program today and i pray that your marriage works your relationship works because uh 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 that's god's desire for you but as we have been talking the best way one of the best ways to make sure that your marriage works and proceeds continues to work for a long time is to avoid external influences especially those that are, are not beneficial those that lead to division those that lead to wrong attitude in your marriage and hope out of this program you've learned how to identify the friends of your marriage or frenemies of your marriage and uh, if you do so uh, i know your marriage is going to work learn where to get counsel from the blessed is the man 
Uh, walk it not in the counsel of the ungodly. Don't allow the ungodly to be your counselors mm -hmm. as far as marriage is concerned. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the viewer. I pray for their marriage, the relationship, the engagement. Lord, I pray that it will be as you have desired marriage to be in the name of Jesus Christ, that they will be able to eliminate those things that divide and those things that segregate, bring fragmentation. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will identify the things that bring them together in Jesus' name. And I pray that they will be able to discern the words of counsel that they are supposed to follow and they will be able to discern your voice and that which is not your voice. I pray for them. Heal every relationship and marriage for your glory and for your honor. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. 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 Now again, we have those numbers at the bottom of your screen. Let us know. There are people that would love to pray with you. Yeah, if you, if you call those numbers, the person who will pick that number is a minister of the gospel. And they will pray with you if your need is prayer. They will organize for you counseling if you need counsel. And God's going to bless you. Also remember that we have the pay bill number. And uh, it's there so that you can partner with us in Jesus' name. God bless you. Until next time, this has been Marito Bliss. Yes. And this has been Pastor Morris Gashero, Pastor Pauline Gashero, and Pastor Solomon Were. We are glad to have you today. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, see you next time. Marito Bliss.